Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So we're going to talk about the benefits of holding hands with your spouse. Now I've already talked about two other videos where we're talking about touch. The first one is kissing. The second one is hugging your spouse. And today again we're going to talk about the, ben the benefits of holding your spouse's hand right after this. Alright fam, thanks so much for coming back. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by helping them to implement simple tips and proven strategies. So now, the first benefit to holding your spouse's hand is the same benefit from kissing, the same benefit from hugging, which is it reduces stress. All of the senses of touch, kissing, hugging, now holding hands, all of them relieve stress. So I won't go into it a lot here into detail because I did that in the last two videos. So definitely at some point check the videos out. I will definitely link them down below in the description box. And of course at some point you will see both of them up here as well as the playlist for the videos. All right. So now we're going to jump into point number two. Point number two, holding hands actually boosts the feeling of love and the quality of the bonding in your relationship. So hold your spouse's hand to increase that love and increase the bond in your relationship. Number three is actually backed up by a study, which is it reduces the blood pressure. Now I'm not going to go into all of the details on how it reduces the blood pressure, but just know it is backed up by a scientific study that it reduces blood pressure when you hold your spouse's hand. The fourth thing that it does is it helps you to endure pain. What I mean by that is when somebody calls and gives you some bad news and you have these painful feelings within you, once you start to actually hold your spouse's hand or your spouse actually reaches out to hold your hand, you can endure that painful news, that painful feeling a lot better. It soothes you. It actually releases that feel-good sensation when your spouse holds your hand and, of course, when you hold your spouse's hand. Number five, it actually shows solidarity in your relationship. So this one is basically when you guys are out and about, you guys are holding, hand, it, holding hands. It actually shows other people that, you're, that you guys' relationship is pretty solid. Yeah, it's pretty solid, which actually brings me into point number six, that when you are out and about and people do see that you guys are holding hands, especially when you guys are walking side by side, it actually shows that you guys feel that your relationship is equal, that you both are equal parties within your relationship. Again, that's point number six, that you are equal within the relationship. Again, when you're walking side by side, not when somebody's in front, somebody behind. When you guys are walking side by side, not only does it show solidarity in the relationship, it also shows that both of you feel that the other partner is an equal in the relationship. It also shows that you're ready to walk through life with your partner as an equal and that you're ready to match your partner's pace and their steps. So we know that we usually have a height difference within male-female relationships. And so when your partner is slowing down, when your partner is speeding up, when you guys are walking at the same pace, you're showing that you guys are equal within the relationship as well. So the equality factor is definitely there. Number seven, it's actually an innate ability that we have in us. This is something, the, the, the reaching out and wanting to hold onto something actually starts within the womb at about week 25. And it's where you, yes you, yes me, all of us have actually reached out for our umbilical cord. And we are reaching out. So it's an innate thing that we want to reach out and hold on and be connected to. So... Once we get born, at some point, that reaching out for the umbilical cord obviously stops. Right. But you get my drift. It is an innate thing that we come with, that we are born with. We want to reach out and touch. Again, we're talking about touch. Today, we're talking about the touch of holding the hands. So it's innate that we must get touch. And just as a side note, for those of you out there 
who have children or do not have children, this is just a side note that did you know that babies can actually die if they do not receive physical touch? Yes, it is a proven fact that if you leave an infant alone for, I, I think it's up to, I think, I'm going to have to look this up because I don't want to quote it wrong, but I'm going to say five weeks. I think that's absolutely a, a long, that's too long of a time. But the point is, after a certain period of time, you're leaving a child there, an infant specifically there with no physical touch from a human, they will actually die. So it is an innate ability. We need physical touch. Kiss your spouse, hug your spouse, hold your spouse's hand. I will definitely see you in the next video. Deuces.